Hey everyone, it's Matt and Steve from LRM Leasing. Today I want to talk about getting the most out of your truck. Now, in any economy at any time, getting the most out of your truck is always important because getting the most out of your truck keeps the dollars in your pocket. But as you know what's going on, today's date is March 17, 2022. Fuel prices are historically the highest we've ever seen, right? So today we want to talk about how to get the most out of your truck to keep the money in your pocket. Let's get right into it. All right, so when we're talking about miles per gallon, what we want to do is try to, you know, fuel consumption. We want to make sure you're using your truck to its best ability to keep that fuel consumption down. So the first thing that comes right off the mind is your idle. Like for instance, if you're at a load and you don't need your truck running, turn it off. And then that'll be less fuel that's being burned. So anytime that you don't need your truck running, turn it off. That's also less wear and tear on the truck itself, the engine, right? Correct. The second one I can think of right off the bat, and maybe a little uncomfortable, is believe it or not, you, not using your AC as much as possible. If it's cool out, roll down the windows. Let that fresh air come on in, because less of a load on the engine, less fuel that it's gonna burn. So if you don't have to use your AC system, try to avoid it, roll down the windows, enjoy that fresh air, and save some money at the same time. That's a great tip. We're actually gonna be making another video, how to be proactive with taking care of your AC unit, because I think it's really underestimated how important it is to the efficiency of your truck. So stay tuned, that video is coming. Steve, what else? How else can they get the most out of their truck and, and increasing that miles per gallon? So the next one I would have is preventive maintenance. It may be something as simple as that, but believe it or not, it's one of the biggest things that could save you money. So what I mean by that is like making sure you have proper air in your tires. You know, it, less drag, you know, it's not it's deflated. You're making the engine work harder to get that truck moving. Second thing is, you know, alignment. Making sure that it's properly aligned because if you're holding that steering wheel and fighting against it, again, you're still burning fuel and so forth. And then the air filter. Make sure it's properly clean because if it's plugged, the turbo's gonna work harder, the engine's gonna work harder, and then, right, you're burning more fuel. Then the next thing is your fan. Believe it or not, it comes on quite a bit, especially when you have the AC running. Make sure that fan is working inside, it, you know, on and off. If you see that fan constantly stay on, you're burning fuel. The next thing is, would be your, you know, anything that does with a shake or any aerodynamic, like if you're missing a bump. Yeah, the fairings, we see them all the time, right? They're yeah. just hanging off and you're just creating more drag. Correct. Smart. If you think about it, that panel's missing, you're allowing air to build up between the tractor and trailer, causing drag, burning more fuel. Steve, those are great basic tips that you could do right away without really doing anything that you shouldn't already be doing. So guys, pay attention. Now I understand, you know, you, you get these advertisings all the time. I'm sure you guys get targeted fuel cards. There actually is a benefit to fuel cards, right? There are savings out there. So, um, you know, definitely explore those, right? Everybody knows TA, Petro, you know, Sap Brothers. Um, they all offer a discount card or a card that helps you reduce how much per gallon. Anywhere between five to 15 cents. Last time I believe I checked online. So definitely start looking towards it, especially the way fuel is climbing. Can you tell me a little bit about how you're accelerating and, and, and driving the truck. Can you tell us what is the best recommended method for that? I know everybody wants their truck wide open so they can pass the next driver, but believe it or not, if you can keep that truck under 70 miles per hour, you can actually use less fuel doing that. So if you can keep the truck under 70 miles an hour and be patient to get there, you'll see that you have better fuel consumption. Yeah, if you're not in a hurry and you know your load doesn't have to deliver tomorrow, why are you speeding? You're just burning dollars, all right? That's the goal here, keep the dollars in your pocket. So if you like what you saw, please comment below. Let us know if you wanna see anything else. We're happy to make more videos that will help you. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.